So there are many LLMs out there, many AIs. You got Grok, you got ChatGPT, you got Gemini, you got Bard, and many more. The problem is we know that AIs can hallucinate, meaning they can give you all these wrong answers, and we know that different AIs will give you different responses. So it would be cool to be able to, without having to go to all these different websites, to be able to query multiple AIs at the same time so you can cross-reference results. There is a site that can allow you to do this. This video is sponsored by ChatHub and they have a tool. The tool is called ChatHub. It allows you to interact with multiple AIs at the same time in one convenient way. So let me just jump into the example here. So I have it set up right now where I've been communicating with ChatGPT, Gemini, Bing, and Perplexity. We can jump into others as well if we like. So my question is, can you write a Python class with two methods where one validates emails and the other scrapes websites where I only need to add the URL web scraper? So now we're going to see our four AIs give us an answer. This is a great way to look at code. So let's go up to ChatGPT. ChatGPT says, sure, here's a Python class with two methods, one for email validation and the other for web scraping, just as I asked. So let me scroll down. So you see we got our code here. They're using beautiful soup module to do their work. Let's go to uh, Gemini. So Gemini, here's a Python class with two methods, one for validating emails, the other for scraping websites. So let's see what we got here. So actually, interestingly enough, Gemini uses a placeholder library. This method requires an external library for actual scraping. So they don't actually give you something functional in terms of the web scraping. So that's a fail for Gemini. So you can see already there's a difference between what chat GPT provides in terms of code versus Gemini. Let's look at Copilot, which uh, Bing here. Copy, boo -boo example. So they give you example usage. Oh, they also give you references to where they got their information. As you can see in this very simple example, we got different implementations, different ways of doing what I asked it to do, which is kind of cool. You can compare and contrast. You're getting some reference material in Bing, so that's kind of cool. So what we can do now is we're just going to clear the conversation to make some room. Let's ask it a simple question. Can you help me choose a good domain name? We'll see what it says. Here's another example with, um, I guess we'll call it a theoretical question, a non-coding question, where each of the AIs are giving us more information about registering domain names. So perplexity is giving us very specific information about how to choose a good domain name. ChatGPT is not, it's not doing anything right now, but it wants more information. So uh, I'll say, I need a domain for a new coffee shop located in New York, New York City. So, okay, so ChatGPT goes right ahead. So it's not giving us any technical information about what makes a good domain, but it's giving us some names. Again, each of the chatbots are coming up with a different perspective. Another advantage of ChatHub when you subscribe is that they're going to give you access to GPT-4 and more advanced access without, having you, without you having to pay these different fees. So recently in my mentoring group, we were having a discussion. We have our usual discussions. And of course, AI is coming up more and more and more. And there was a discussion about the different AIs out there, which platform is best, which you should you use, et cetera, and so on. So with ChatUp, you can query, as we just saw, multiple AIs at the same time, saving you a lot of trouble. It kind of makes sense. It kind of makes sense. Check out ChatHub GG and install the Chrome extension. Over 100,000 users. I just did. It was easy, simple. I've already found it useful and I just scratched the surface of the product. Check it out below. They also have a lifetime subscription for only $39. And on top of that, there is an extra 10% off with the Uncle Steph coupon, which you can find below in the description.